Welcome to the very first video of Haas CNC mill. Before we get started, I would highly suggest knowing the manual mill because this isn't really a machine you want to just jump into without knowing anything about machining. So you want to be able to understand how to indicate vices, cut different types of material. You want to know what end mills are, drills and all that fun stuff. Now, during these next first beginner videos, we are going to be going over the best way to learn. We are going to also be going over just enough so that you guys can get your machines going because when you're watching these videos, I'm going to go ahead and assume you want to know enough so that you can run a part. Well, I'm not going to be going over, we will later in the more intermediate and advanced videos, but I'm not going to be going over the control panel in its entirety. What I want to do is just go over enough to move the machine around, pick up your zero zero, touch off your tools, change different offsets, and hit go once you have a program. As you learn a CNC mill, there are some other things that come along with it, such as G-code. G-code stands for geometric code, and there's also M-code, which stands for miscellaneous code. This is a language that we use to communicate to our CNC mill. We can't just speak English and understand what we're saying. So what we have to do is use these two different languages, which is just like learning any other language, such as Spanish or anything like that, except it is for a Haas CNC mill. Now, they also work on lathes and other things like that. So G-code is a very important language in the machining world. Now, as you learn this machine, you want to be sure to look at your company's rules, such as OSHA rules. The things I'm gonna be teaching you is what I currently use doesn't mean it's the right way. So you wanna know your company's rules and be safe and use your common sense. Now, the things I do teach you might seem a little redundant, might seem like you don't really need to do them, but they, I have reasons for that and I will uh, tell you the mistakes I have personally made because I have crashed this machine a thousand times and I've learned each time I've done that. How we are gonna go about teaching this machine is the very first thing we're gonna do is go over a very brief description of the control panel. From there, I'm going to teach you guys how to actually manipulate the table around. And then from there, we're gonna teach you how to find your zero zero using an edge finder and an indicator. So if you don't know how to use an edge finder or an indicator, Again, you really need to watch our manual mill videos to understand these. I will go over briefly how to sweep in a hole, but assuming that you already know the manual mill, I will not be going into super detail on how to sweep in a hole. So we'll be using an edge finder, an indicator, and setting our zero, zero, and then from there, I'm gonna teach you how to touch off your tools, and I'm gonna assume that you don't know how to program yet, so you're gonna grab your program from somebody, and I'm gonna show you how to load the program and run it. Now, we also have SurfCam videos. SurfCam is a software that you need to know in order to run this machine. They have different softwares. The software that we teach right now is going to be SurfCam. And it is a way to tell your tools what to do in order to cut the material that's in your machine. So we have SurfCam videos available and we go over feeds and speeds and things of that nature, which again, if you know your manual machine, then CNC will be a lot easier to understand. Feeds and speeds are a little different when it comes to manual versus CNC, and yet again, we'll go over that. Uh, other than that, let's go ahead and get started on our control panel, going over, a, again, brief description of how and what these buttons do, and then we're gonna show you how to manipulate the machine and jump into setting up a part and running it. Thank you. <laughs> 